Many more Louisiana students could be failing the third grade. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barry Lowen. A bill making its way through the legislature targets the state's reading deficiency in elementary students. Jade Morrow explains how it would work. Improving the state's literacy is on the minds of lawmakers. House Bill 12, written by Representative Richard Nelson, specifically addresses third graders who are struggling to read by holding back students who are not at the appropriate reading level. If they do score in that bottom percent, then they'll get actually two more, time, two more tries to try and pass the test before the start of the next school year. And if they don't pass in those two more tries, then they'll be held back and given extra intervention. 2022 LEAP scores show students in kindergarten through fourth grade are still falling behind national average literacy rates. State Superintendent Dr. Cade Brumley has said the pandemic is largely to blame. It is a crisis we have faced for a long time, but unfortunately, over essentially a decade, we flatlined. Representative Nelson's proposal is based on Mississippi. Students will be tested three times a year through third grade. That will determine where the student stands. If they fail, extra efforts will be implemented. And you're going to get a folk, kind of a literacy focused third grade year when you come back. So you're going to have a highly effective teacher. You're going to have extra time spent on reading and literacy and especially on phonics based instruction. But what impact will this have on schools? Nelson says Mississippi's results showed 8%. Roughly 4,500 students across the state failed in the first year. The Department of Education would be in control of the testing threshold. That, along with the changes already made, Nelson says they are in a good place for the program to show success, not bogging down the system. It could be possible that we would actually see better results than Mississippi right off the bat because we have kind of implemented a lot of the changes that they had to put in place as they were going. Jade Morrow, 7 News. The bill has passed the House and is now before the Senate Education Committee. Legislation that requires all public libraries